Okay, everybody, it is early October. It is fourth quarter. Uh, we always talk about it, JJ Reg. Listen, we play every minute of every quarter of every game. So we're in it to win it for you guys. And uh, here's the thing. The most popular question I get when I'm going out on listing appointments is, um, okay, so when's the best time to go on the market? You know, should that be March, April, before Easter? And I'm like, if there's not anything holding you up, for going on the market, the best time to go on the market is when you're ready. There is something to be said about fourth quarter and first quarter. The market is all about supply and demand. And if there's less competition, less sellers thinking about timing into the market, you can't time the market, but timing into the market, there's less sellers who are trying to do it maybe around holiday time or first quarter for whatever reason usually it's because of conventional wisdom conventional wisdom they're like peak season is springtime if demand doesn't rise to the supply you could just have more competition and it's not uncommon any realtor doing uh, any fair amount of business will tell you this that sellers get antsy when they're competing with more inventory and they start water it waters down prices okay so Warren Buffett comes to mind okay so when people are getting out, you get in. His quote is, when others are fearful, okay, you be greedy, get in there, okay? So fourth quarter or first quarter listings is a great time. It is also a time when we see there's constant demand in our market. That is a fact. And it's because we're in a very rich relocation area in the country, Houston, yes, and the Woodlands, which with our notoriety, this area, of being a top place to live in the country and uh and who can argue with that but the medical district everything so um constant demand corporate america is not driving it just to move their personnel in the spring medical district they're not hiring the docs and bringing them in uh, with growth and expansion in the spring only so anyway they're out there um Okay, rates, another, I, I'm seeing this all over the place on Insta, on social media at large. Realtors going out there about the rates are dropping or they're gonna drop and all those things. Um, rates I've always felt like are secondary and should be. You shouldn't settle for a home. You shouldn't wait on the sideline for rates to drop. Uh, I'd rather you settle on a rate that you can refinance later, okay? Don't settle on a home when the rates go down and your A could be in, you could be, may not be, in a feeding frenzy competition for buyers that were also like that mindset of sitting on the sidelines, more competition, okay? And um, you don't wanna settle on a home. So good news is, is that rates go up and down. And I've always felt like rates uh, are not the primary, it's secondary, household economy, which is why elections are important and in everything, um, to pay attention. I mean, how, how is your household economy? And if you feel strong and you just got a promotion or you just, you've been saving and now you're expecting a second child, those things, those are really important triggers. Those are things that we, um, you know, that we counsel our buyers on to, okay? So there's both sides of the coin for sellers and buyers. And lastly, I'll just leave, leave you with this, that um, we're an experience here at JJ Reg. You know, when I talk to prospective sellers and buyers, we're not a commodity. We are an experience, meaning we're gonna drive a five-star white glove experience for you, and we're gonna do it. It's gonna be wrapped up with extreme skills and competencies, negotiation skills. And we thank you for that because our business 17 years in is very organic because of you.